Uh, good morning. Uh, I'm Jim Molinaro. I'm Chief Commercialization Officer for Zetraz Systems. Uh, Zetraz is the uh, designer, developer, and manufacturer of the uh, SAMSport systems. I have been uh, in, in the medical profession, the medical device pro uh, uh, profession, for a little more than 10 years. And in the 10 years and the number of medical devices I helped to commercialize or bring to market, I'm extremely excited for the SAM Sport and what it's, its impact that it's going to have and having on the workman's comp world. Um, every day I turn on the TV, including this morning, and I hear what a crisis we have. We have an opioid crisis, and uh, we had uh, recently reported 19 people uh, dying of uh, OD in 24 hours in Columbus, Ohio. And we talk about, boy, we got an opioid crisis, we got an opioid crisis, we got to do something. Um, the issue is, from a workman's comp perspective and the current treatment modalities and protocols, um, they're not leaving room for something uh, uh, unique to get people off the opioids. It's become almost standard of care, especially for the workman's comp patient in pain. And we're really happy about our product because we offer that solution to accelerate healing and reduce pain without the drugs, and if they are on opioids, to get them off opioids as fast as possible. So what is SAM Sport? So the, the acronym SAM stands for Sustained Acoustic Medicine. Uh, SAM Sport is the first and only FDA cleared wearable ultrasound on the market for multi-hour treatment. Uh, it accelerates the healing, or what we call the natural healing cascade and pain reduction for most musculoskeletal injuries. Um, and the first reaction we always get is, well, I've, I've heard of ultrasound. People use ultrasound. It doesn't heal. And they go, yes, that's conventional ultrasound, where somebody really just loves to get an ultrasound and stand there and wand somebody for six or seven minutes. And uh, the only therapeutic benefit they're getting for that six or seven minutes is they are increasing blood flow and they are increasing diathermy, so they're getting a warming effect. But in 20 to 25 minutes after they stop doing that, any effect wears off. Now, we provide continuous ultrasound, not pulsed ultrasound. And the ultrasonic waves are penetrating about two inches into the tissue, about the diameter of a baseball. Uh, the technical details behind the product, it runs at three megahertz. And each applicator, and there's two applicators or transducers, run at 0 0.65 watts. Um, our most commonly prescribed uh, uses uh, and, uh, uh, for the SAM Sport Chronic uh, tendinopathies have been at, at, at the top, lateral epicondylitis, medial epicondylitis, uh, bicep, quad, triceps. And you notice this list, uh, if, you, if you've been following our product, this list keeps growing. And where we've been getting a lot of feedback and a lot of information for both doctors, therapists, and case managers has been from the pro teams. And it was announced in November 1st of 2015 that the main insurance carrier for the NFL and Major League Baseball and MLS uh, approved this device for reimbursement, so it's used to treat any injured player. And what I love, and I do keep my phone on a lot, is we get the phone calls from the trainer saying, did you know how well it works for this? And I go, no, tell me, and what is the protocol? And because we want to educate the people. And what I've been really you know, pleased with on, uh, from the pro athletes, and by the way, later on, in, it was around November or December, we received a call from the insurance carrier, which was Chubb Insurance for the NBA and NHL, and again, approving this. And, it was the uh, original Chubb Insurance uh, introduction that opened up the doors for us for Workman's Comp and said, if we can heal an athlete, a professional athlete, really clear, very, very quickly, get them off the, uh, any pain medication and get them back in the game, isn't that what you want for the general Workman's Comp population? Shoulder rotator cuff injuries, post-op labrum tear recovery, very, 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 very painful. Limited range of motion, lots of pain. All right, and, and if you use the SAM Sport, you can help accelerate that recovery and that range of motion. Uh, knee osteoarthritis, and we're going to cover some of the clinical uh, studies. We're very, very happy about the product. We have a lot of support for a number of different organizations that uh, sponsor our clinical studies. The uh, osteoarthritis of the knee study is sponsored by the National Institute of Health. We completed the first uh, clinical study with them, and we have a second one ongoing now. Uh, you'll see the back pain and back pain spasms. Very, very, very fast response time, especially for back injuries. That was sponsored by NSBRI or NAS. For a lot of these injuries, what's your protocol to treat lateral epicondylitis? How are you going to heal that tissue without injections, without surgery? And, and, it's, got, and it's more than just a massage or blading. This takes time to bring that tissue back uh, to health. Well, we do this really quickly. For most of these injuries up here, unless it's a calcified tendinopathy, 
the SAM sport will accelerate the healing and uh, have these patients back in two to four weeks on, on, on tops. The response times are, are phenomenal. And we have a couple of workman's comp patient testimonials at the end, but again, just two to four weeks of treatment, and it's one treatment per day uh, for up to four hours. And again, as I said, the response times are, are amazing. How many people know of a product that's used to treat someone with la a chronic lateral epicondylitis and they're feeling great in two weeks? Right, that's the reaction we get. I'm not aware of that, well, well we are. And we're very, very happy about that. Um, next slide, please. Uh, as I mentioned, the, uh, some of the clinical uh, data, this is our clinical summary slide. Uh, uh, studies done through Duke Sports Medicine, uh, UConn, Ohio State, the Ohio State, you gotta remember that's not just Ohio State. Um, B BYU, Dr. Draper's in the, in the country is what we call the father of ultrasound. Um, what are our mechanisms of actions? I mentioned ultrasound's been around for a while. And um, it, uh, before Sam Sport, and when the, a number of physicians had already studied effects of ultrasound if treated for a longer duration period of time. And in, in the brochure, uh, in the bottom section, there were five studies cited where people took conventional ultrasound, applied it for a period of time, six, seven minutes, took a break, came back, reapplied it, and then they did this for 30 minutes or longer. And they noticed way back when, and most, some of these studies were done in the 90s, they noticed the therapeutic benefits. The ultrasound was actually accelerating the healing. Uh, luckily, no one else thought about it before Dr. Lewis did, and he was able to develop and patent the SAM Sport product uh, uh, and uh, make the only FDA cleared wearable device for multi-hour treatment. Um, what does that look like to the patient or what are we doing with the, the, the energy levels that we're delivering? In the bottom of the, this, this chart, it shows you what the energy level is, conventional ultrasound. Um, so you're delivering some, somewhere in the 2,000 joules category of energy to the tissue for that six minutes period of time. Then you take it off, it's done. Um, this chart shows the amount of joules we deliver. It's close, I think the number is closer to 18,000 joules we deliver in just one treatment in one day. And by the way, uh, the only limitation on treating it for four hours is that the rechargeable battery runs out and you gotta recharge the battery and you can repeat, okay? Um, more energy, good for accelerating the healing. And how is that accelerating the healing? These are the mechanisms of action and the three are very unique. Uh, and and, and the, the first one is it's accelerating collagen uh, the second one is accelerated oxygenated hemoglobin in the muscles, and you'll see the, public, uh, the uh, white paper done by v Virginia Tech. They measured uh, that people that are wearing the, the SAM Sport uh, units on their muscles, we increased the oxygenated hemoglobin levels in, in the muscles by four to, four to five times. And uniquely, what that's doing, um, not only do we have a recovery for the injury, but you're going to see a number of athletes, uh, Rio's coming up, you're going to see a number of our, our, our national teams uh, are wearing the devices to help warm up. So you will see them wearing at, um, the women's US soccer team. Uh, we just had in the NBA finals, several stores, stars wearing it, one on patellar ten tendon while he's warming up, one on his shoulder while he's warming up. Uh, you'll, you'll see a number of stars wearing it for hamstring, quads, MCLs, ankles, and again, for warm up. They don't wear it during the game, but we're also dealing with the therapy that's a drug-free therapy as well. Very important for an athlete. So, can we help your performance without the, 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 the drugs? And again, everything we did for the athletes is saying, well, this is perfect. This is what Workman's Comp is asking for. Help us contain the cost and get the, the injured patient back to work faster. The third mechanism of action is the accelerated angiogenesis effect. So we're accelerating capillary development. We typically see in sports injuries, the swollen ankles, the swollen knees, and they're using the SAM sport where we take that swelling out very, 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 very quickly. The unit is very, very simple, and e it's designed for ease of patient use. And I'm going to show you one. I brought a unit with me. The unit contains two applicators, two transducers, and this is what they look like. All the technology is in these two applicators. This is the ultrasonic crystal, and it runs and wears the device uh, by using our coupling patches, which are a unique and patented band-aid with the ultrasonic gel inside. And all you do is you snap the applicator into the coupling patch, peel back the Band-Aid and put it on your injured tissue area. I snapped one on so you could see what it looks like. Uh, and the only thing that the patient has to do uh, is power it on. All the pro teams, NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball, NHL, WNBA, and MLS. And like I said, if you watch TV, you may see them warming up with the units. Um, but 
you know, when we're sitting down with the trainers and the doctors for the pro athletes and uh, the first uh, approvals came uh, from the carriers November 1st, they said, it's really important with these chronic injuries that we get this player back into the game quicker. It's really important we help them recover after the workout or the physical therapy. And it's really important they're not on any pain medication. And went, well, those are all the ingredients of workman's comp, aren't they? Uh, work, workman's comp. Uh, we're, we're covered by many of the insurance carriers and we're covered from some of the largest TPAs. And this list keeps growing and we're really grateful for it. And, you know, the, uh, it, it's obvious why. We want to heal the injured worker quickly. We want to get them back to work quickly. And we don't want them on pain medication. And the cost of the uh, opioid-based pain medication. So, uh, standard of care. So, uh, again, I want to mention that SAM Sport is an adjunct therapy for the patients going to PT. This is not a standard device where you put it on and sit at a chair. We want you working with the PT. We want you doing the banding exercises and wh whatever other instructions they want you to follow. But it's an adjunct that they're doing with that. And it's also an adjunct that they're doing at, at home or at work. Uh, and again, just not sitting on a chair. But the protocols that we've been seeing is, hey, eight, eight to 12 weeks, physical therapy, three visits a week, and uh, we hope we'll cure your injury. Um, and, um, but in the case of workman's comp, uh, the longer that patient is out of work, and uh, I know there's a lot of statistics on it, the longer they're out of work, the probability goes down that they're coming back to work. And if we can use a modality, an adjunct modality, to help that patient recover in two weeks or four weeks, or better yet, wear it and go back to work, um, you'll, you'll improve that statistic significantly for a lot of medical uh, personnel. And you notice um, she heard her back at work from pulling equipment and patients. Uh, and not been able to do just general household activities, not been able to walk for long distance because it's too painful. Um, we asked prior to uh, being prescribed SAM Sport, her pain level was out of four, but with just one to two days of treatment, uh, her words, her pain level dropped to one. Um, and, and I will tell you, uh, we have seen phenomenal, phenomenal responses on, on back pain. In fact, if you, uh, she was prescribed pain medication, but after SAM, she was able to stop using the pain medication, and she's in less pain and more comfortable walking long distances. This patient, lateral epicondylitis. And, and you know, for the most part, when we talk to nurse case managers and, and, and doctors and the PTs, this is just not fun. It, it's, it's, it's significant pain, it's serious pain, whether it's lateral or medial, and there's just not a lot you can do for it. And you want to avoid surgery, and you want to avoid shots, you don't want to degrade tissue. Uh, so what else do you do? And so we have some phenomenal success uh, with uh, lateral and medial epicondylitis and, and, and tendonitis, uh, tendinosis in, in general. This patient, uh, uh, the background, she actually fell on black ice. And when she was falling, she put her arm down to stop her. And she's been in pain ever since. Uh, and uh, when we were listening uh, to the case manager, MRIs didn't reveal any break or anything else, just severe, severe pain. She was at pain level of eight after four weeks. Her pain level went to zero or one. Her one comment was she can pick up our grandkids, so she knew she was doing pretty, pretty good. Um, she was prescribed uh, the opioid-based pain medication, and she was one that said, I didn't want to use it, and she was able to stop after one week uh, as well, so we're really happy about that. Uh, th these slides will go into the placement protocols. Again, it's a very easy product to use with the patient. So you notice the place placement for lower back pain, trapezius, the chronic shoulder in injuries, it is not placed on bone, it's placed on the soft tissue area. If by accident the patient would place it on a bone, the reflected energy on the ultrasound would just go off. It would get, you know, it would get to the warm level, the unit would turn red and, and turn off. So it goes, everything's on the soft tissue location. The ankle injuries or Achilles, whether it's medial or lateral, plantar fasciatus, this is the only one you just can't get up and go. We don't want you walking on top of it and walking on hard floors. So that one, you know, keep, keep, you know, sit down, relax, wear it for an hour or two hours. Most patients for plantar fasciitis do not treat themselves for four hours. So if they can get back later in the day and repeat an hour or two hours. Uh, knee osteoarthritis meniscus tear placements, again on the soft tissue area, below uh, patella. Next, um, quad tendinopathies, lateral medial epicondylitis, bicep tendinosis. Um, at this point, I'd like to open up for uh, question and answer. Uh, anybody, uh, and anybody have any questions on the product? Yes. The patient population. Mm -hmm. um, athletes are generally healthy. 
Mm -hmm. Our patients, before they're injured, generally are not. Right. Um, we are oftentimes dealing with comorbidities of the diabetic, atherosclerotic smoker, mm -hmm. all of which fight against mm -hmm. circulation. Sure. Um, does have some of the studies been done in such a population? So, you know, I mean, if it helps an athlete in a couple of weeks, if a person's natural circulation is slower, they've got sure. chronic disease, is there a difference in time frame? What? I'm, I'm, that's helpful for blood circulation, but remember the primary mechanisms of collagen laydown mm -hmm. and the angiogenic properties, whether you smoke or whether you, you know, but play in the Super Bowl, where got, got going to be the same same outcome for them. You will see in the studies the age of pa patient populations in, in the 70s and 80s, particularly for the osteoarthritis of the okay. knee patients, respond really, really well. So it's 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 nice in their healthy condition, but we're helping to heal the tissue by accelerating the body's natural. Um, well, I, and I guess my primary reason for asking is that when we're educating patients on things that they're using, I try to give them realistic expectations because most of them come in with very unrealistic expectations. Expect what we like for the case managers to do, but even our own distributors to do in a follow-up, we, we, we first like for you to call the patient after three days of use. How are you doing? Because we want to make sure they're using it uh, uh, and because they want to get healed, right? All workman's comp patients want to get healed. Uh, does not have tracker on it. Okay, this is your tracker. Okay. You know how many of these are left? Okay, okay that's your tracker. Now, the, the way we structured things for the, the workman's comp, it's not a rental, the, the, it's scripted and given to the unit. You have the unit and you get 120 patches or six, up to 60 days treatment for the patches. You can always script additional patches if you need it. So we give them a two month treatment window uh, on this, okay? Uh, but we like three days, how you doing? two weeks and four weeks. Okay. And um, uh, we never promise that overnight you're gonna feel good. Although I will tell you personal experience, especially lower back, you feel r better, <laughs> better the next day. You saw the one on there for the nurse after one or two days of treatment, how, how well she felt. I've just seen some phenomenal results on, on the back. But you're right, you don't wanna tell them, hey, this is the miracle and in one day or two days you're gonna be good. The nice part, as you'll see with your patients and you're doing follow-ups in the three day and two weeks, they will tell you that they're feeling the improvement. And we ask about range of motion, of course, we ask about pain levels, and most important, we ask, are you taking any more pain meds? Because we want that answer to be no. Uh, but that's the, be the doctor. When the doctor orders this, and who does the patient teaching and where do they receive? The, the, uh, distributors, the distributors will do the patient you know, teaching. They'll come out, set them up, and uh, get them going. So yep. do you do that at their home? at the doctor's office or? Therapy visit? We're flexible. Therapy visit, Thera doctor's okay. office preferably. Home is a third option in all situations just because it's probably from a liability standpoint not ideal. But we'd like to do it at the doctor's office on a visit or uh, uh, therapy is fine. Uh, we'll okay. usually get to them and uh, re relatively quickly. So it's something that we might want to talk to the doctor ahead of time so that you've got a heads up to be there? Ideally, that's the best way to do it, yeah. Uh, we're, we're, we're grateful for the relationship, expanding the relationship with, with Gen X and uh, One Cold Care and, and Mike and our other distributors for the country. This, this product is really revolutionizing what we can do for WorkComp. It can do exactly what everybody said we should be doing. So again, thank you for your time.